So I want to take this a little bit slower than we did in the last series because this is where really big things occur, really big states go down, really big states become more powerful, um, and I, I want to make sure that we, we kind of know everything that's happening in North America. Now I think the next state to fall will, I think, I, I don't even think, definitely New Mexico, the New Mexican Empire is going down. And we'll see if Texas takes the most here. They probably won't get everything. Then the state of Arizona. Don't, don't forget that Oklahoma is technically a part of this war too, but uh, Texas kind of swooped in and stopped them, which I thought was a pretty uh, crazy move. Now, Colorado is in a more interesting position. They are Democratic, and so is Utah. So they, uh, they might want to form an alliance maybe with Nebraska here too uh, to stop whatever uprising we see out of both Arizona and the Lone Star State. I don't know how Arizona is surviving this, and I don't expect them to, sur to survive for much longer because Mexico just peaced out with Guatemala, uh, which means that there should be almost no divisions left there to the south, and they'll probably push forward now more than ever before in the uh, state of Arizona. All right, so uh, we also have like all of the, uh, pretty much everyone that borders the U.S. in Canada, they're all at war with the U.S. They're not even at war with each other which I think is funny. They're working together here. Maybe. Uh, they, they're, they're being quiet about it, though. It's a very quiet uh, work together. What, who's dying here? Uh, Iowa. Iowa's dying. Oh, I didn't even realize that. I did not make a comment about that. Missouri's doing well. So is Minnesota. Minnesota needs, needs to be careful, though, of, uh, of North Dakota moving in. South Carolina and Empire declared war in the Socialist Republic of Georgia. Uh, last time we checked, Georgia was doing really well against Alabama. That is going to make things tough now. Let's uh, let's check in on what's happening. They were not prepared for that. Oh, actually, this could be big for South Carolina. Wait, you have one division. Uh, I take that back. This looks like it's going to be a major disaster for South Carolina because they have, they have one division. Maryland was puppeted. Who grabbed Maryland? It is actually so funny, and I've talked about this before in the past. There they are. Who grabbed you? My knowledge of the East Coast is so bad. It's such a Californian thing. It's it's the stereotype is true. Oh man, it's terrible. I'm sorry. Anyways, Pennsylvania grabbed you. So maybe this will help. I'm actually surprised. Uh, New York. Remember, New York went after um, New Jersey. But remember that they're also fighting Quebec at the same time. And Connecticut, I guess. So that that really helped out Pennsylvania. It really helped them because Ohio. Well, Ohio is facing their own Canadian threat to the north. Everyone's facing a Canadian threat. If you're along the northern border, it's kind of funny. Everyone on the northern part of the U.S. is fighting Canada still, and uh, everyone on the south pretty much is fighting Mexico. There it is, right there. Wow, Arizona to get nothing, and uh, has been put. Wait, Democratic Party. Put into power the state of New Mexico. Oh, Arizona did that. Arizona was able to keep New Mexico alive and kind of spawn a little bit of democracy because they were fascists before. That is that is funny. So we have a Texas that looks really good. 45 factories, about a million manpower. Uh, what happened here? Kentucky was puppeted. So Kentucky is the next one puppeted. And who are you underneath? Ohio. Oh, that's going to really help. That is going to help a lot. I think we might see Pennsylvania fall here, actually. It's likely. Yep, yeah, there's no way. There's no way they keep up with this. That's too That's too difficult. You're not getting much support from New York. And, and, and in New York's defense, like, how do you fight through Gateway? That's just, it's called Gateway. It's going to be tough to fight through either way. North Carolina has uh, declared war on Socialist Republic of Alabama. Treaty of Des Moines. Minnesota, Missouri, and Iowa was puppeted. Minnesota and Missouri gained a little bit, but who got the puppet? That's the question. Let's see who got the puppet. It was Minnesota. So let's wait for it to, to, to take some... There it is right there, yeah. So, yeah, Iowa is a puppet of Minnesota. So that should help out defending against North Dakota. The Hoosier Empire. I love that name. That's so cool. First, the state of Illinois. That's, that's Democratic. Illinois is. Georgia was puppeted by who? Wait a second here. 
George is a puppet of Alabama. That means Alabama has two puppets. And now they just have to fight off the Sunshine Republic. Now, did you adopt that war? Whatever happened to this? How did that How did that war end? Well, you're fascist now. You were fascist before, I think. Alabama's fighting North Carolina and Florida, but they have two puppets for themselves. Georgia and Mississippi. Arkansas doing better than I thought. Oh, there's actually kind of a team war. This is our first kind of dual war we're seeing. So, yeah, Kansas is, is helping Arkansas fight Missouri. Let's go back and check on California. El Salvador is now declared war in Mexico, which is, again, going to slow their progress down by quite a bit when it comes to taking over Arizona. Luckily for Mexico, though, they are also fighting California, who's also fighting Arizona, is worried probably about Oregon. I, I They've got to be worried about Oregon. I mean, I'm sure Oregon doesn't have exactly... Like, you know, the amount of strength, but forcing California into two different sides here is going to be tough. Uh, I'm trying to view here as California. Why can't I see? Oh, I am viewing as California, but I need to view as Oregon to see what this is. They only have like a handful of divisions, both of them. Hmm. Really curious to see what Texas is going to do. I mean, they're, they don't have any fascist states next to them. The fascist countries are like dropping like flies kind of here. There it is, right there. They just went after Arizona. That's smart. That's really smart. Texas looks good, and it looks like Texas is gearing up for a war with Mexico, I bet. If they wait, if they're really smart, the, this would be the smartest move we've seen so far in Hearts of Iron 4. If they take out Arizona themselves, eat this up, eat the factories, rebuild, then take on Mexico. Mexico's got no chance. There's no way. Vermont's declared war on New York. Wow. Okay, so New York is in a bad spot. I mean, hey, they're holding off. I will say they are holding off. Vermont is going to be tough to hold back, though. Vermont's got a much more clear border, I think. And Pennsylvania's doing okay. Yeah, they're doing fine. Surprisingly, I didn't think that was going to happen, but they're okay. Appalachia versus Ohio. Who is that? Who became... Oh, West Virginia. I didn't even realize that name. That's cool. They're fascist as well. New Hampshire versus Vermont. Um, are you socialists? Yeah, so there might be a faction that forms out of out of that. Did Maine stay democratic? Yes, they did. State of Maine. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about New Brunswick and uh, Nova Scotia. They always give. They always put some are some trouble. Uh, you know what's kind of interesting? I didn't realize this. You are a part of your own states, but you're still a part of the Allies. Newfoundland and Labrador is uh is it you know not canada but they're a part of the allies i wonder why there, there's probably somebody from canada that can explain that to me oh my goodness montana okay there's you you're gonna be stopped you have to be stopped montana you gotta slow down this is crazy you're fighting three canadian provinces as well as south dakota how are you doing this i don't understand this Okay, wait a second. Now, before I keep going, this was kind of a curious thing that I tasked in the last one. National Spain's going to win. National Spain is going to win over regular Republican Spain. Because you're being helped. Non-aggression pact. Yes, you are being helped. Oh, you're being helped by, like, not even really... Oh, this is improving relations. Oh, okay, never mind. There's no way of us telling... I thought they'd give us notifications. I'm pretty sure... Oh, maybe I have to select them first. This guy reminds me of Willem Dafoe so much. Anyways, that is off topic. So Italy's here for sure. And that's that's all we see. I don't think I don't think much of the states are sending over much. And it kind of it kind of makes sense. I mean, what the states are dealing with a whole bunch back home. Is anybody uh join the Axis or the Allies. No, everything is still the same. I mean, it's only been like, like about a year, just over a year, so it's not super surprising. Uh, New Jersey was puppeted. Uh, hey, Lone Star State, what are you doing? Why aren't you taking out Arizona? All right, let's see what happened to New Jersey. Is it by... Wait a second, I thought you were already puppeted. 
by New York. Oh no, I was thinking Maryland and Pennsylvania. Oh, that's perfect. Now Pennsylvania is in a much better spot to maybe hold off Ohio and Kentucky. Perhaps they, they need to they need to fund Ontario or something in the north because they're gonna need the help. This is crazy. I love this. Oh, state of Illinois. Getting crushed by the green empires surrounding them. Arkansas, Kentucky, and, and Wisconsin. They're all just surrounding them. Montana is kicking butt, and I don't even know how. These are separate individual wars. Are, oh, no, are they? They're together. No, these, these British provinces are working together. Virginia's declared war on Appalachia. Appalachia? Is that what that is? Am I saying that right? Probably not, but you know. You know, it's it happens. It, it's a common thing. <laughs> everybody, everybody is knows this. All right, let's let's see how Arizona is doing. How are you doing, Arizona? You're you're all, you're all right. You all right. I mean, you're holding back Texas. Wisconsin took six states. Illinois was annexed. A bunch of equipment was sieged. Oh, so you're just. Pretty much Wisconsin just ate you. Yeah, Wisconsin ate you real bad. That's a weird thing to say, but uh, that's just how I'm describing it. Florida's doing okay, kind of. Looks like Florida's doing okay. Oh, you know what? Yeah, what's Alaska doing? Come on, come on, Alaska. You are fascists. People, you have people that are distracted. Yukon is still at zero zero people like that's what are you doing also this is so interesting so strange to me to see california not be able to rip through both of these guys at the same time especially in arizona that's fighting mexico texas and california if you're rooting for arizona i give arizona a lot of props like this is incredible this is crazy you are fighting the strongest among the strongest powers in North America, and uh, and you're holding and you're holding back, and you're even pushing forward. Look, yeah, California has nothing here. Oh, they do. They're just they're being stupid, and these divisions are just cutting in. That's that's crazy. Did uh, Mexico deal with El Salvador just yet, or did they peace out? Oh, that's right there. Yeah, no, they nothing's happening. Wonder if Honduras would get involved. Honduras doesn't normally. Oh, because Honduras is democratic. That's why. And then that means Nicaragua. I always struggle there. Uh, won't do it. Well, they can't because they don't have a, a major front. Unless they were to take over Honduras, then maybe. Yeah. Then maybe there would be an instance of that. So very early on in this campaign, April 1937. Let's check check back in on Pennsylvania. How you doing, Pennsylvania? You doing okay? They're actually winning a few battles, a few aggressive battles. There it is. That's that's pretty huge. Wisconsin's declared war on Arkansas. That's not surprising, seeing as Wisconsin's doing so well, and that Arkansas is still fighting a lot of fronts. They're still fighting quite a few fronts. I'll, let me check on the fa the uh, faction map mode, even though I don't think anything will have formed. Yeah, no, nothing. And and there's a there's a chance that I'll probably get a notification, unless of course I could I could totally ignore it. Yeah, this is crazy. Arizona now not only pushing into California, but also Mexico at the same time. You know what? Because yeah, the Lone Star State. It's because Texas wants wants Mexico. Of course they do. I don't think, yeah, they're clearly not as invested. Hoosier Empire's declared war on the Wisconsin Empire. Well, that's going to make it real tough to keep over, to keep Illinois. That is definitely going to make it a lot tougher to hold on to that territory. Montana is about to take out their first, how, okay, wait, what is, what is happening? Is it because the, I don't think British Columbia is super powerful. I'm sorry, uh, the British, uh, the Canadian provinces in general, I don't think it's because they're super powerful. New Hampshire took one state, and Vermont was puppeted. Oh, New York is moving into Quebec now. 
And now they're just chilling. Okay, so if New Hampshire isn't dumb, then they there could be a faction that, that will form. Oh, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts is screwed. Uh, that's an awesome name, too. There's a Democratic state that changed their name, right? Or does it, does it start off as the Commonwealth of Massachusetts? Because that's awesome. That's awesome. I wish more people would be the Commonwealth of things. Appa... I'm just trying to sound it out in my head. Appalachia is still... Uh, oh, they joined the Axis. Okay, there you go. I guess I'm a liar. I've been saying this entire time. Well, this series just kind of started. But in the last video, too... Wow, they are puppeted. Montana won this. In the last series, too, I was like, no one's going to join the Axis when I do non-historical focus on. I guess I'm wrong. Although this state is, like, getting destroyed from all sides. So it doesn't really matter. Germany's not going to get involved, I don't think. Well, they'll probably send over troops, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. Wow, Montana. How random would that be if Montana wins this? That would be very random, Drew. That would be very random. Keep in mind, Arizona is Democratic, which means that they would push California to be Democratic as well. And because Texas is too focused... Clearly, they're too focused on Mexico. They're, that's why they're not pushing forward into Arizona. Republic of New Hampshire has declared war on New York. And they did. So they, they did mess it up. It was not that they messed up, but there probably would have been a faction that would have formed in the next video um, out of these two being peaceful with each other. But I guess I get it. I guess I get it. Hmm. Yeah, that is, uh, that is interesting. Oh, I didn't even realize that Minnesota was going after the North Dakotan Empire. I definitely did not realize that. South Dakota is starting to have some, some progress. If they take over Helena, I feel like that would be enough. It's got to be somewhat enough. How is Oregon doing? We'll probably check over the, uh, the current wars in the next video. I mean, I'll look at it now. There's going to be, uh, there's... If you were the... Oh, Texas is already about to win over Arizona. How? How is that happening? Texas is on the offense in the north and on the defense in the south. They're, they're trying to push forward. If they take Phoenix, that's only three VPs. But compared to what they actually have, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, when you have one city, that's like all of your victory points. I'm pretty sure that's what we're seeing. Oh, Sunshine Republic might fall. Tennessee just staying quiet when all this stuff is happening. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I'm going to stop right there. We should start to see factions form, I think, in the next one. And we'll review over the current wars. But uh, here is what North America looks like at 1937. <laughs> this looks so insane. This just looks so, it looks so crazy. So some standout states for me have got to be Montana, New York. Well, I don't know if I want to include New York. New York could be interesting. They're, they're holding back. Um, definitely Texas. Montana's the big one, though. Um, Wisconsin is looking pretty good. I'm sure I'm missing a few here, but uh, those are just a few off the top of my head. But it should be pretty interesting as we uh, go forward a few more years because World War II hasn't even started yet. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.